The game of golf isn't easy. It's even more difficult when fighting chronic fatigue and limited range of motion. WDRB photojournalist Tom Round shows us how people battling Parkinson's disease are getting back on the golf course. Up, spread those fingers. The uh, program started about nine years ago. Up, good, down. We have anywhere from eight to 20 people. Face. You're gonna cross over. The patients were recommending and asking, hey, is there anything I can do to get back on the course? Three more each side. Parkinson's makes movement smaller and it decreases rotation. And so all that stuff is, there are things that you need for, for golf. So it's a natural kind of connection. And Bob, lunges with a twist, please. We warm up, try to get that, all those motions that are difficult for people with Parkinson's, uh, that rotation, that large, big amplitude movement. Half of the group goes to golf with Robert, the pro here. Nice. Do about a half hour of exercise, half hour of golf, and then the group switch. It took me about a year to uh, come to terms with the diagnosis. And uh, after that, it's like, get involved as much as I can. Okay. We're going to the other pin over there. A lot of people are on their journey as well, and they like to do things that I like to do. This summer was my nine years since I've had it. Fatigue is one of my big issues. It affects everyone different. Parkinson's will tighten you up, you know, little shuffles and things like that. So everything's a big move, a big step. And uh, with the golf swing, obviously it really want to open it up for a big, big arcing swing. Swing down and through the ball and keep going. The whole thing is, is centered around the PT. I mean, the golf is to get us guys out here. The golf is the fun part. It just makes it more realistic, obviously a lot more fun to be out on the golf course and hanging out with people. We've had a lot of guys make friends here and they started golfing together, so it's been, it's been great. That one great swing keeps you coming back for more. That's in a lot of the things. Whatever it takes, you know, it, it's a fight. Some days are good, some days are bad. And I personally feel uh, very fortunate for what I've got for where I am. Good for them for getting out there and mm -hmm. doing it. Photojournalist Tom Brown with that.